from this engagement is to equip ourselves as the committee or the sector on albinism, is to challenge our government. So again, this is my advice to you. So maybe we should, can we deal with the technical, election of technical people? We are working toward a movement of people with albinism so that they can finally speak with one voice and push for their own agenda in a way that can be heard with force, with impact, and to strategize on how to reach that goal so that they change their lives for the better, enjoy their human rights, and build a future for persons with albinism in South Africa. People won't accept you because you are yourself not accepted. If we start from what they are being called, the official names for people with albinism in the African languages they use here are very startling. She's an Nkau, which means an ape or a monkey. They are working hard to try to find language that would replace that because obviously this is not sustainable. I think this is really important in terms of being able to take forward some of the recommendations that the independent expert will recommend at the end of her official mission here in South Africa. And it will also enable us as the United Nations systems to find ways to better support them, 